In this video, I will show you how to run Steam games as administrator. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, as you can see, we're here on Steam on my games library. And the first thing you're going to want to do is okay the game that you want to run as an admin. So for myself, I'm just going to go ahead and select Raria. Now, what you need to do is actually right click onto the game itself in the game library on the left hand side. And on this menu that comes up, you want to come down and click onto properties. So what it's going to do is open up a window like this and from here you want to come to this menu on the left hand side and click onto installed files just here. Then what you need to do at the very top you're going to see size of installation and next to this is going to be a browse button. So what you want to do is click onto the browse button. Now what it's going to do is actually open up the game on your file explorer and from here what you're going to want to do is just locate the actual game application so the .exe file which is this one here for Terraria. Then go ahead and right click and then click onto properties on this menu that comes up. Now what it's going to do is bring up a window like this and from here all you need to do is come up to the top you can see these different tabs just go ahead and click onto compatibility and what you then want to do is come down and you can see the option here to run this program as administrator so you want to click onto this then come down and click apply and OK. What you can then do is close this down and what you can want to do is actually restart Steam. And when you relaunch Steam and launch a game, you should now run the Steam game as administrator. So that is how to run Steam games as administrator. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.